ever since that bike first came out, I was just kind of in love with the bike in general and, and in love with the engine package and everything kind of about that bike. So being that I loved it, I wanted to work with it and I always wanted to build something with that motor. I mean, obviously the bike's pretty cool as it sits, so to tear into one was a pretty, pretty bold prospect. It wasn't so much of a just tear the thing apart and destroy it. It was like, let's see what we can retain of the standard bike. And really the thing that I love so much about that bike is just that motor. It's just a monster of a motor. So that is a monster. It is a monster of a motor. So it was really like maintaining what that bike was about, standard with the motor and, and uh, you know, just twisting up the rest of it. about where it's at is we didn't really cut anything off of it. I mean, we cut a few tabs off. We cut bodywork tabs off of it. We cut some mounts off for the electricity, but the frame itself is really still exactly as the Desmo frame was. You know, built our swing arm, um, built the triple clamps, gas tank, tail section, subframe, exhaust, uh, you know, all the side panels and the bodywork and everything else. We stripped a few things out of it, but nothing that needed to be there. It's a very interesting ride on the street, you know, and on the street the thing is just you like get into a corner, you come out of the corner, you just stand it up and just, just drive it out of the corner, it's like leaving a black stripe behind you, you know. It makes you feel like almost like a better rider because you can slide the thing pretty easy now. Where before you try and slide the Desmo, you just don't do it. I had a 16 and a half on the rear and it was like ultra sticky and, you know, if you're sliding that Desmo, you're going to be in trouble. So, razor's edge. Razor's edge. So this was about making it, I think, a little bit more fun and like you're able to kind of really feel what the bike is doing and you're able to play with the traction and play with the, the way the bike slides. Yeah, it does have a power band. You know, it comes on like a two-stroke. <laughs> yeah, it comes so, on like a two-stroke. So to play with that power means you get to exercise with the dirt track tires. It comes on the power and spins the tire. and. And it's still, it's like really torquey too. It's mid-rangey, but when it hits on the mid-range, it feels like it's getting the top end. So it's like two-stroke power, but like way down in the RPM range. So it's pretty and then, radical. And then all, the, 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 all the way to the top. There's so much motorcycle. And now you got higher handlebars, a little bit more leverage on the thing. And I like how you sit up and it's comfortable. And the noise is just beyond words, really. I can't, because I can't hear anything anymore. <laughs> it's beyond words. <laughs>